ever picture like a hairstylist about to give someone their dream haircut? I mean, they're totally in the zone. But, <laughs> oh no, their shears are dull. Ouch. Yeah, that's that's a recipe for a disaster, probably. Talk about a buzzkill, right? Yeah. And it got me thinking: when should you actually sharpen shears? Like, how do you avoid those moments? Because they're getting dull. <laughs> totally. So we're doing a deep dive today. We're looking at this article called "How Often Should Shears Be Sharpened?" Advice for the sharpener. It seems like it's mostly for the pros, you know, people who sharpen them for a living. Hmm. But there's some really good stuff in here for. Uh, basically anyone who uses shears a lot. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's like we think, oh, sharpening, like how complicated can it be? But this article really gets into it. Yeah. And one thing that jumped out at me is it's not like a one size fits all answer, right? Right. Right. You can't just be like, okay, every three months, got to sharpen. <laughs> like it doesn't work that way. No sharpening day reminder on the calendar. Uh, exactly. Yeah. I love how the article put it. They said asking how often to sharpen shears is kind of like asking how often you fill your gas tank. Okay, I'm intrigued. Keep going. Right. Like, it totally depends on how much you're using your car, what kind of car it is. Oh, I see. I see it. So, like, a hairstylist who's using shears all day, every day, is going to be sharpening way more than someone who's, like, just doing some crafts every now and then. Exactly. You got it. And it's not even just how often you're using them, but also what kind of cutting you're doing. The article mentions dry cutting and slide cutting dull blades faster because of friction i'm guessing yeah more friction exactly and think about it dry hair right way more abrasive right like rubbing sandpaper on a knife makes total sense and then on top of all that there's the quality of the shears themselves it's just like anything else higher quality they're going to stay sharper longer oh that's a good point like a well-maintained car exactly regular yeah. maintenance makes all the difference so basically investing in a good pair of shears is an investment, right? Like you're saving yourself time and money on sharpening down the line, which can really add up. Now you're thinking long term, smart. <laughs> but even with the best shears, even if they're amazing quality, you still got to pay attention, right? Like notice the signs. Totally. What are some signs? Like, how do you know? They actually mentioned this in the article. They said if you're feeling like any drag or push when you're cutting. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a clear sign that your shears, they're ready for a sharpening. It is, it's kind of like that feeling when your car needs an oil change. Yeah. Like you could just tell. Right? Yes, exactly. And it made me think too, it's not just about shears. Like, have you ever thought about a chef's knife? Ooh, good point. Big difference when they're sharp. It's actually a safety thing too. A sharp knife is a safer knife. Oh, for sure. You're less likely to slip and cut yourself when it's not all dull and whatnot. Exactly, exactly. It's all connected. So anyone listening who's thinking, Okay, I need to sharpen some stuff. Where do I start? I did see in the article, they mentioned this YouTube channel, Bonica Shears. Have you heard of that? Yes, they are great. They've got really good tutorials, even for total beginners, so. Nice. This is making me realize, I think a lot of people, we don't really consider sharpening as part of like the cost of a tool, you know? But if you're constantly having to replace things because they get so dull. Right, right, because you're putting off sharpening, yeah. It probably adds up. Oh, absolutely. Plus, you're putting more wear and tear on the tool if it's not sharp. That's a really good point. This has been eye-opening for sure. It makes you appreciate, like, the skill of those professional sharpeners, you know? Totally. Like, they're artists in their own right. Unsung heroes of sharp tools. I like that. I like that. The unsung heroes. That's good. Well, on that note, thanks for diving into this with me. <laughs> My pleasure. And to everyone listening, next time you grab a pair of scissors... Yeah. Think about this conversation. Yeah. And maybe give those scissors a little love. You never know what a little sharpening can do. Exactly. Until oh. next time.